Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sainath, uh, doing neurosurgery DNB in Sargandharam Hospital. Uh, it's been a lot of time that uh, we haven't posted any content in the channel. Uh, we are really for the, sorry for the busy schedule of ours. Anyways, uh, today uh, we are here with uh, a lot of questions uh, regarding DNB. Uh, basically, the video is uh, to create awareness about uh, DNB and I will be comparing uh, DNB with MDMS uh, so that you will be able to understand uh, this uh, DNB uh, and the two particularly from a perspective of a DNB student. Uh, here the, uh, I'm coming with the first question. So uh, whenever uh, people are opting for DNB, the first question uh, they will be uh, hearing uh, from their friends or relatives is why are you taking DNB, don't take risk. Just go with uh, MDMS, don't take any risk. Actually, you are not risking anything. Uh, DNB is as good as MDMS. Uh, it's been a good uh, 40 to 50 years since the DNB has been started in India and uh, there are people who had been excelling in this field uh, for more than 40 to 50 years. There had been uh, n number of uh, consultants, uh, like if I take an example of our institute, uh, there are many people uh, many consultants who, who had done DNB and currently practicing in, uh, in our uh, hospital and uh, they are doing pretty good. So uh, actually you are not taking any risk, uh, any risk. Uh, you have to be actually uh, thinking in a long run. Uh, like you have, be, you have to be thinking about your long term future whenever you are taking any course you know, either it be DNB, MD, MS uh, so that you will actually uh, find out there are like uh, like premium institutes even in dnb for example if you consider uh, uh, sir gangaram hospital in uh, delhi and uh, there are few other hospitals uh, uh, like you have uh, apollo uh, in uh, indraprastha apollo in delhi and uh, you have narayana hudayalaya you have uh, hinduja and then uh, you have uh, um, the many many other institutes in uh, Karnataka they are doing pretty well you know um, these are DNB is uh, on par I don't say on par equal to it is just equal to MDMS it is just one of the posts like that it has its unique nature and uh, it functions in a different way by the end of the day it produces the same doctor that MDMS will be producing that's what I want to say and uh, the next question is uh, DNB equal to MDMS in the market. Yeah, see, it's a perspective. The point is whether uh, MDMS is really equal to DNB. Uh, I don't think like there are people outside uh, who are actually judging this. Ki, uh, there are uh, there are no uh, judges over in the society who will be judging a DNB equal to MDMS. It is the skill, it is the uh, knowledge you have, it is the patient success rate you have, it is the mouth of the world uh, that generates and uh, in the recent times it is the reviews in Google also that sometimes will be deciding whether you are a good doctor or a bad doctor. Ultimately it is that and uh, no one will be actually uh, calculate your uh, uh, skills based on your degree. So, uh, regarding this question, uh, real, uh, really DNB is equal to MDMS, see, uh, people would be asking this question uh, in the perspective of uh, opportunities, definitely. Uh, so, the opportunities are definitely equal for MDMS and uh, DNB. Again, I would like to take the example of our institute itself. In our institute, uh, whenever a newbie comes in, so nobody is actually judging uh, whether this guy is a MDMS uh, uh, or a DNB. It is the set of the skills. It is definitely the set of the skills which matters. Uh, even it be it may be for a surgeon, it may be for a uh, physician. So ultimately, at the end of the day, they are going to judge you based on your skills, not on your degree. And this we have been seeing uh, here daily. And um, in our uh, in my three years of uh, course in this uh, neurosurgery, 
I had never uh, seen uh, this discriminatory uh, saying that MDMS is not equal to DMV. We had been to many conferences, we had interacted with many people over there. And no one actually thinks it is. See, uh, the things uh, which matter are the institute uh, in which you are doing and uh, the faculty uh, who are mentoring you and the, uh, the patient load which matters. These are the things which matters uh, and your DMB degree, MD, MS, maybe there are some people who can uh, judge you based on that but it is not your career deciding and uh, it has not decided anyone's career till now and not in the future definitely. Coming to the next question, so people think it is a diploma, diploma course when you write DNB uh, next to your name. See, uh, people may think that it may be a diploma course, but we cannot change that thought process, right? Uh, if you if you take a uh, society with 100 people, probably the 30, 40 people might be thinking like that, but eventually they'll get to know. But See, uh, what I am trying to say this is uh, this stigma should not hinder your opportunities because in DNB you have like some premium institutes, very good premium institutes. If you research regarding that uh, in a very individual level, you will be getting to know about these beautiful institutes. Uh, in the same way, I got to know about Gangaram when I was researching about DNB. Uh, about this neurosurgery six years course. In the same way, uh, my wife she is doing uh, anesthesia in uh, uh, DNB anesthesia in uh, Apollo Hospital Delhi. Even uh, she got to know about this beautiful course only by individual research, talking to the people in that institute. That makes you because uh, see this stigma should not uh, should not be actually hindering your opportunities. Uh, if you are very much uh, uh, scared about this uh, DNB uh, stigma, then definitely you are losing upon uh, many of the opportunities. That's what I can say. Coming to the next question, people say that uh, you know DNB, DNB is only paperwork. Uh, there is no cutting. There is no practice, and uh, they mostly use us as uh, cheap labor. The uh, ground reality is not that uh, many of the people, uh, many of the people uh, think uh, it may be like that only, but uh, the ground reality is not that. Because uh, I accept with this point that DMB has a lot of paperwork compared to MDMS. See, uh, I was from a government college. Uh, I did my MBBS in a government college. I did my internship in a government college. Later on, I got uh, I. Uh, I, I took uh, uh, a lot of points into my mind, I just prepared a list and then I just tried to match everything. So in that, uh, the Gangaram was uh, falling into the perfect place. That was the reason why I took Gangaram. I didn't take it out of any, uh, just a uh, desperate attempt to stay in a very comfortable environment. I just took it on a very calculative basis. Uh, so in that, there was this thing. Uh, Many people, well, while I was entering into DMB, many people have told me that uh, DMB is having a lot of uh, paperwork that is, uh, you know, uh, that is, uh, there is a lot of uh, fall to work. I know, um, uh, I slightly agree with this point. Uh, there is a lot of uh, unnecessary paperwork uh, because it is a corporate system most of the times and they want to be pretty much sure with their uh, paperwork and uh, most of the times it is DNB who is doing that paperwork. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. But it doesn't mean that you are there only for that paperwork and you are not doing any cutting. I personally, I, I had done a lot of paperwork uh, 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 from my first year and still I am doing. I agree with that. But uh, I don't agree with, with this point that there is no academics, there is no cutting. Uh, for, that point, for that matter, in our, uh, in our, in our department, uh, our department is highly academic. Uh, we do uh, like uh, two cases, uh, I mean two presentations in a week. Uh, we have a class on Tuesday and we have a class on uh, Friday 
uh, there is a resident who is uh, presenting that and there is a consultant who is moderating the class and it is a offline class not some zoom class so uh, there is continue uh, after the class there is a discussion session and uh, where uh, we can ask consultants uh, uh, directly their first hand experience and they share their experiences uh, they correct us they give uh, they put some put forward some questions it's a very good session it's a very good interactive session i suggest that everyone should be having this so uh, dnb even has this uh, the board of dnb is very much particular about the academics and at the same time cutting cutting is also really good i don't say that uh, there is uh, compared to mdms uh, you know uh, the cutting may differ i don't say uh, it is less i think it is equal uh, there was not even a single day where i was very much dissatisfied that uh, my uh, cutting is not actually on par with mdms uh, uh, people uh, i speak to my friends continuously i have friends uh, doing their uh, mdms in uh, gone in uh, state government colleges in uh, central government colleges as well as in uh, uh, manipal universities etc and uh, i compare myself with them continuously yeah uh, we are getting good cutting we are getting good exposure the patient load is quite good and uh, it's uh, really satisfied over there so i would like to end this video saying that uh, dnb is a very good course i would definitely recommend uh, people uh, even with good ranks even with moderate uh, average ranks uh, to take up dnb to consider dnb as a uh, life option because uh, recent times in the recent times like after me entering into dnb i had uh, seen that uh, uh, there are a number of changes in the dnb board and they are continuously uh there to support and it's a good platform it's a definitely very good platform and it is a uh, fast growing uh, platform i would say so at the end of the day it is again the perspective it is again the perspective which will decide uh, you take and uh, you take uh, you get into mdms or dnb uh if you look at the ranking patterns which uh, this is uh, uh, this is uh, my personally my interception uh, i had noticed that in the uh, last uh, last three years there are uh, very good rankers who have taken up dnb dnb whether it be dnb radiology dnb surgery dnb chest medicine uh, dnb neurosurgery uh, there is a very good trend uh, the rankers are coming towards the dnb and they are selecting dnb as this uh, option that's a really good uh, trend that is going on currently and uh, one more thing uh, this completely my observation that i had seen that uh, i personally i am from uh, hyderabad i had uh, done my mbbs in kannur medical college and then uh, i had uh, shifted to delhi for uh, gangaram uh, for doing this uh, post graduation so what i have personally seen that uh, in south india there is a lot of stigma attached to dnb and people are very much scared about dnb and uh, in north india it is not that much i would not say that it is completely zero but it is comparatively better in north india and people are uh, actually very much comfortable in taking dnb and there is no such difference they are very much comfortable in choosing dnb uh, over mdms uh, this is a complete fact even in south india i feel that uh, this trend is uh, gradually changing uh, i have spoken to my juniors uh, who have come from uh, south india uh, and uh, they are also uh, pretty much comfortable this is and uh, the thought process is changing uh, in north india it is way better uh, in south india is getting better and uh, i definitely recommend uh, taking dnb uh, but i would like to say that end of the day it is that the institute that matters institute is what matters and the patient load is the thing which uh, should be considered by taking up any institute so uh, keeping these two points in mind uh, it is way better to choose your career rather than completely growing uh, just ca being carried away by uh, this uh, mdms uh, kind of stable and uh, thank you so much uh, for watching this video and uh, 
uh, we are we are attaching uh, our Instagram page in the description. So uh, go check it out, and uh, you can DM us uh, on the Instagram. We would like to uh, answer all your questions, and uh, in the comment section also you can uh, put up your questions. We will definitely answer over there, and uh, yeah, we will be doing. Uh, mm, Content uh, regularly, uh, particularly this is the counseling session, so we would like to do many more videos uh, regarding this. And uh, keep subscribed to the channel and keep the notifications on. Uh, we will be coming up with more content. Thank you so much.